Hey Michael with X-Force PC, you want to talk about multiple monitor arrangement in X-Plane. And the two terms you need to be most familiar with are lateral field of view and lateral rotation offset. So we're going to talk about those things here in a second. Now there's several different ways you could have your monitors configured. Most people have three, so I'm going to talk about three in this video. I can do more videos about more monitors, but let's talk about three. So if you have the size of your monitor is going to affect your lateral field of view because of how you arrange them. So if you have three 27 inch monitors, you know, you're probably going to, you know, sort of arrange them like this. And then here are you, here's you sitting right here. Okay. And now if you have like, let's say three 49 inch monitors, those are bigger you might have them at a steeper angle like this and here you are like that and then lastly if you had like three 65 inch screens you know you may have those arranged at almost perfect 90 degree angles you're sitting directly in the middle and so the arrangement of your monitors is important because it affects your overall lateral field of view think of a circle right this is 360 degrees of lateral view is a circle now think of half of a circle sorry for the noise this thing's making half of a circle that's 180 degrees right well that's sort of like having 180 degrees of uh, lateral field of view and so you have to think about those terms whenever you're looking at these different monitor arrangements. Here, let's start in the middle. This one, I would say this guy is getting 180 degrees because if he sticks his arm straight out to the side, he almost perfectly touches the end of each of his monitors. That guy is getting 180 degrees of lateral view. This guy, if he sticks his arm straight out, he's coming in a little bit like that and so this guy i'm and really this is probably with 27 inch monitors you're probably actually let me correct this just a little bit you're probably going to actually be sitting back more like this and so if this guy sticks his arm straight out let's say they're infinitely long his arms you know, they're kind of angled in like that. And then this guy, if he sticks his arms straight out, look where his arms are going. They're going actually behind him. That might actually hurt a little bit. So I would assign this one, if I, if I consider a circle to be 180 degrees, I would say this is about 150, something like that. Okay? I would say this is a perfect 180 and I would say this guy is, let's say 210 to keep things nice and easy. And so when you're setting up your lateral field of view and your lateral uh, rotation offset, it's important to know the total field of view that you are getting in these situations. Okay, so the next thing we need to determine, we've got our total lateral field of view. Now we need to determine our lateral field of view per monitor. That's what that means. Lateral field of view per monitor. If all your monitors are the same size, which they should be, um, otherwise you get into some weird stuff. All you do is divide this number by three. So our lateral field of view per monitor here is 50. On here, it's 60. And down here, it's 70. 70 times 3 is 210, 60 times 3 is 180, 50 times 3 is 150. This number is important because this is the lateral field of view, again, per monitor. So on each of your monitors in your graphics settings in X-Plane, you're going to set lateral field of view 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, and 70, 70, 70. Uh, for all three of your monitors. Again, we're doing this based on the monitors being the same size. Now, the next thing you need to do is figure out your lateral rotation offset. Okay, so let's figure out our lateral rotation offset. And so what this stands for is left, middle, and right monitor. 
Your lateral rotation offset, if you don't want to account for the bezels at all, it's just going to be, like for this one, negative 50, 0, positive 50. Okay, but I like to account for the bezel, and I usually I throw in one extra degree of lateral rotation offset to offset the bezel, and that allows X-plane to appear to, to go behind the bezel, but that's up to you. So in this scenario, 150 degrees of total lateral view, 50 degrees of lateral field of view per monitor. What do we put for our left? I'm going to put negative 51 because I want to go one extra degree to account for the bezel. Always zero in the middle unless you're doing something wonky. And then positive 51 on the right. And I bet you can guess what the others are here. Uh, on the left monitor in this situation, negative 61, zero, because we don't want to rotate the middle monitor at all. It's straight in front of us. So no rotation on that. And over here on the right monitor, 61. Lastly, on this one, left monitor, negative 71. I apologize for my handwriting. Zero and then 71 on the right monitor. And again, let me explain where these come from again. Um, the middle monitor is always zero, and the reason I say it's always zero is because it's all, always, I'm doing the quote thing, straight in front of you. Now, if you get some weird setup where you're doing things kind of wonky, all this stuff could change. But uh, zero is always going to be for the middle one. And then the negative 51 is how far to, lo to rotate to the left, the left monitor. And 51 here is how far right to rotate the right monitor um, so that everything will line up. Again, the extra one degree here is to account for the bezel. Now, this is what 99% of customers should do who are using uh, multiple monitors. You will see other settings in there. You'll see vertical rotation offset. So if you were to mess with that, which I recommend you don't, but you can, that would rotate you down or up. So a positive number would rotate your view up and a negative number would rotate your view down. Again, I don't recommend you mess with that. Now, you know, you can also get more complicated in all this stuff. Like, let's say um, there is one more scenario that I'm going to talk about, but I think I'm going to I'm going to put that in another video. I think I'm going to stick that in another video. So we're going to stop here. This is for people with three equally sized monitors running to run triple display.